Hey everyone, Sedfire back here from the Fire Gaming, and in this video, as you can see, we are doing another Pokemon opening, and I haven't actually bought any Pokemon cards since the last video I did, so I haven't opened any Pokemon cards in absolutely ages. But this is going to be a Duskmane Necrozma, I think that's how you say it, GX tin opening, and yeah, I just went and bought this for £20, so it looks pretty lit, like, especially the Dustmane Necrozma. I haven't actually seen anything to do with Pokemon Ultra Moon and Ultra Sun, whatever it's called, but yeah, this is the tin, so it's got that, it's got, um, Dawnwings Necrozma, I think it's called, and then Dustmane Necrozma on that side, and on the back has just got the play sticker thing and the Pokemon logo. I'll take, I'll take off the wrapping so you can see it better, because, yeah, and also if you hear any background noise, <coughs> Sorry, I can't really help that, because it might be my dog sort of barking or something, so yeah, sorry if that happens, but... Okay, yeah. I haven't actually seen it without the cover on, that's what it looks like, it looks pretty neat. And there it is again, there's Duskmane, Dusk yep, Duskmane Necrozma, and there's Dawn Wings Necrozma, and there's the Pokemon Trading Card Game logo, and everything like that. So yeah, I'm not sure what's inside of this. Because I, like, I think it's random with tins, but I'm not sure. I don't know what packs are actually inside of it. And the tin looks pretty cool, so I'll use these to source some of my, maybe, Ultra Prism and Crimson Invasion cards, maybe. But I'm not sure, so I'll just open this. Oh. <coughs> yeah, so, there's the... <coughs> Sorry, I keep coughing because I've got a bit of a <coughs> throat thing at the moment. But yeah, there's Duskmane Necrozma at the moment, so it looks pretty cool. It's got Claw Slash for 60 damage, which only takes 3 energy, which is pretty cool. Meteor Impact, 220 damage, but you have to get 3 energy out from this Pokemon, which is annoying. But Sun's Eclipse, it looks pretty cool, because um, it does 250 damage, which is a very powerful attack, but you can only use it if you have more prize cards than your opponent, which is kind of annoying, but if you're losing, this is one of the good cards to use, I'd say, because you don't even have to discard any energy. So you could just use that attack, then straight away on the next turn, use Meteor Tempest, which is pretty cool. So yeah, I quite like this card. It looks pretty cool, and I'll probably use it in this Dark Rai Sylveon deck that I'm doing. I'll see if I can put it in at all. And then, so, I haven't actually put this open yet. Okay, so, ooh, okay. I'm not sure what packs we have in here. Oh, okay, three packs. <laughs> I thought since normally had four in them. Huh, that's weird. But... Bam, popped it open. Okay, so, okay, that's pretty cool. So we have an Ultra Prism pack, a Crimson Invasion pack, and a Fates Collide pack. So I'll go oldest to newest. So that would be starting with the Fates Collide. And yeah, I'm hoping to maybe get an EX or something like that. I'm not sure, but you never know with these. And I won't look at the code card, but I'll show you guys this code card, because yeah, why not? I'm not going to look at it because I like things being a secret, so I don't know what they are. But, um, I'll just put it there, then I'll turn it around, and I'll do that, then I'll do that, just so you definitely get all four sides. I think you can see that anyway, I'm sorry if you can't, but I'll just chuck that on the floor so I can't see it. And then from the back it's one, two, three, it's three, two, so I still know the card tricks for everything, I think, I hope. But yeah, so starting off we have a Diglett, a Minchino. Sorry if you can't see it, there you go. A coughing. A Vullaby. I'm trying to get it so you can't see the back. A Solosis, I think that's called. A Dugong. Wait, I just need to pull those out. There you go. A Bent Spoon. <laughs> I haven't seen this before. Prevent all of your opponent's taxes except damage. Okay, that's pretty cool for like poison and stuff. Laudrid. A goth eater as um, uncommon or a common. I can't I can't see what that is. It's probably common. Okay, I think that's a Diancy EX. I'm pretty sure. Yep, Diancy EX right there. That's pretty cool. I won't lie. It's another EX. <laughs> I think I've already got one of this card actually. I'm not sure though. Hmm, that's pretty cool. I've got a duplicate of Diancy EX. Pretty neat. <laughs> that failed. Okay, but yeah, I'm just gonna. Shove the cards over there. Right, okay, I've got two good cards now. So now I'm going to go Crimson Invasion. I have only opened, like, three packs from Crimson Invasion. I haven't had any good cards from it yet, but... Yeah, I'm pretty, yeah I don't have any good cards from it yet. Because, yeah, I haven't actually ever opened, um, like... I don't know. I don't know what I'm saying. But... <laughs> 
I am going to drop the code card on the floor because I give away one of my code cards perfect opening. So I'm going to go what it, this and so all the Sun and Moon series sets are four two. So so because like they're all four two because there's an extra energy card in the pack. So starting off, I'm just going to do that. We have a Mistrevis, a Pikachu, Chimeco, Chimacho, whatever you want to call it. Magikarp. Uh, the derpy, always all powerful Magikarp. A Bunnelby. A fire type energy card. A Lyron, Lairon, I think, whichever one it's called. A dashing pouch, dashing. A fighting memory, all well, that's for Sil Valley GX. A common of a Mankey, I'm pretty sure that is. And a rare is just a Houndoom, and that's a, not a hollow, but. It's a pretty good card. I'll put it in, like, I won't show it at the end, but that's a pretty good card. Oh god, I almost just knocked the other cards off my table then. So now, we, oh, you can still see the mischievous. <laughs> so now we have an Ultra Prism pack. So, yeah, <laughs> Ultra Prism packs. So, I haven't ever got a good thing from, wait. No, I haven't got a good thing from these packs before. But, um, yeah, um, they look pretty cool. Wait, actually. I might have, but I can't remember. <laughs> I don't exactly have a good memory, so yes. <laughs> so one, two, three, four. That's four. Yep. And one, two. Sorry, it takes so long to do the card tricks and everything. But right, there we go. So starting off, we have a Jupider, a Stunky, a Turtwig, an Electabuzz, a Buneary. A lightning type energy card, an ancient crystal, an Alolan Dug Trio, a Spiritomb, a reverse hollow of a missing clover, that's a uncommon. And the round this pack is a an Alolan Sandslash, my one of my favourite Pokemon in Pokemon Sun and Moon, and that is not a hollow, but yeah. <laughs> Okay, I'll just put that to the side, because I'm not sure if that's a good card or not, but, yeah, okay, oh god, oh, oh fudge, <laughs> that's happened to me in one, two of my videos now, god's sake, <laughs> so yeah, it was an okay open, opening, I'm pretty sure, so, overall, but wait, yeah, that wasn't uncommon, okay, so we start off with uh, Diancy EX, which we got, I'm not sure how much this is worth, I'll probably sell it for something, but that's pretty neat, and then, of course, we have the, covering up then, a god <laughs> there we go a dusk main necrozma gx which is probably going to go in one of my decks because it is pretty lit and yeah it looks cool it sounds cool it is cool so yeah this is a pretty cool card and i'm not sure how much it's worth but it's probably worth the entire worth of the tin so <laughs> that's pretty neat but yeah i hope you guys enjoyed this video it's just because it's another pokemon opening i love opening pokemon cards but yeah i hope you enjoyed it if you did, please leave a like and subscribe, and I will see you in the next one. Have a fantastic day.